the limit when x approaches to infinity, r tangent of e to the x. And let me make a note right here. r tangent, it's another way to write the inverse tangent. This is the same as the inverse tangent e to the x. Okay? So in this situation, what happens is that the x is approaching to infinity, and the only x is right here. We just kind of have to think about what will happen for e to the x when x goes to infinity, and then we'll go from there. So by looking at the graph of e to the x, here, this is a quick graph. e to the x goes like this. Okay, it shoots up. When x goes to infinity, you know inside will also be infinity. And another graph that you have to look at is the r tangent. The r tangent goes like this. It's the inverse of tangent, and it has two horizontal asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So this is for the inverse tangent of x. Now let's see what's going to happen. And I'm just going to write it in this way. It's not like super legit, but it works. You can get the answer, like the correct answer for that. Okay, so I will just plug in infinity into x and then we will reason out the answer. Here, I will have the r tangent. And then I plug in infinity into here, I will have e. And when x goes to infinity, it will be like that. But then here, e to the infinity, it's infinity because you can see the graph. So in other words, I'm trying to get what's r tangent of infinity. When you have r tangent of infinity, that means you are looking at when x is far away to the right, and it actually has a horizontal asymptote pi over 2. So the final answer for this is pi over 2. That's it.